Hey everyone, today I'm just going to do a little bit of an update because I haven't been on here for a while as you know and you've been so fantastic, being so patient and the emails that I'm getting, it's really nice of you. Um, I also want to say thank you to everyone who's put a Halloween response in for the video. It's coming up soon and there's plenty of looks for people to choose from. Um, as you know, it's not going to be a massive present or prize but there's a huge big packet of all sorts of makeup. Um, lots of samples, lots of full stuff, the whole lot. So I think you're going to like it. But again, it's not a car, it's not a house, it's just a bag of makeup. But thank you very much for everybody who's doing also. It's still got plenty of time to put them in if you want. So just get them in. I don't mind. It's lovely to see so many. I've had loads of looking through all of them. And I think they're fantastic. I've got some competition. And for the makeup, the eye makeup collage ones we do, that was good as well. A lot of the responses are brilliant. So thank you very much. Also, I know I say that a lot, but there's lots to tell you and I want to try and cram it in as much as I can. Um, I'm up in the daytime, I've got the chicken on the cook, the cooking, cooking the chicken, so I've got two hours to kill and it's nice and light so I thought I'd come on and say hello to you while it's not dark, um, show you a couple of things and tell you a couple of things so you see all updated and I don't feel like I'm leaving anybody out. Right, first of all, yesterday I was actually in London and I met the Queen, which was absolutely lovely. I was invited down by YouTube uh, about two weeks ago to come and see the Queen. So on Wednesday I headed down on the train and I stayed overnight. And then on Thursday she went to the Google offices with um, Prince Philip. Or the Duke of Edinburgh, not sure. I think it's the same. Not quite sure, but I just know the Queen. But both of them were fantastic and I got to speak to them, which was lovely. Um, I was asked what I do on YouTube and so I told her. And then she asked where I was from and he did the same. Um, with, and it was really strange because it's all a bit surreal getting to see the Queen in real life because obviously we see her on telly but I feel very 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 honoured that I got to meet her and I only wish I'd have butted in and said it was a pleasure to meet you but I didn't want to be rude so I just let her go on to the next person that we were in line with um, and I actually went down with um, Jerry Atwick, Peter he's got a YouTube channel on here and he's really funny and we got on lovely and well um, and it was quite a nice time. I really enjoyed myself. The BBC were there filming more in and out while I was busy. They were waiting around taking photos and then when I come out we were doing more filming and it all went really well. So there's lots happening. The BBC programme is going to be absolutely jam-packed with all sorts. So I'm looking forward to that getting made. Other things, let's see. Well, the makeup line, it's still in progress. We're hoping to do an early year launch, next year early. I think that's what's happening. It's either the end of this one, Christmas time, or next year very early. I'm not sure which, but I'm going to keep you updated as much as possible on that. Um, I had my teeth done, yes, and the BBC filmed it all. And I went and got laser hair removal. And I paid for my courses up front and thought, right, just get on with it. And I must admit, I'm having a bit of bother because in between your sessions, obviously, you can't pluck or wax, so you've got to just shave. I don't know about you, but I know when I shave, it comes back more stubbly, so it's pretty embarrassing. And because I've obviously been here, there and everywhere meeting people, it's um, really embarrassing, to say the least. But I'm trying to hide it as much as possible, little bits and pieces, and I've got another session in four weeks' time. And I'm just going to keep going and keep going and keep going until it's gone, because I've had enough. And now I've no going back now because, um, you know, well, it's once they shave you, because they shave you when where they're going to take the hair away. So once they've done that, there's no going back because it's just going to keep on growing out. So off we go. I'm looking into the lens today because lots of people keep asking why I don't. I don't know why I don't. It's quite awkward to say. I like to see something or see someone's eyes when I'm talking. I'm having this difficulty filming with the BBC, to be honest, because they have this huge, bigger camera lens and you've got to talk into it because I understand you're talking to everyone who's going to be watching it. But it's so awkward when I can't see anything back. I like to be able to see someone's eyes and stare at them and talk to the eyes or something, you know, rather than just a lens because it doesn't feel right to me. It feels really strange. Plus, I feel like I look a bit funny and tubey like to it. But that's by the by. So anyway, that's why I don't, but I'm going to try doing that for you when I do a blog. Obviously when I do my makeup I'm going to be here, there and everywhere, into the mirror, into the screen, whatever. Just so you know. The teeth, they're all done. The temporaries are fitted and I'm back in on Monday to get them shaped to the way I like. I've had a little bit of time to see and what I think. I think they're fantastic as they are. But for me, I want to get them a little bit shorter. So I'm going back to get them reshaped and everyone's been fantastic. The whole day went brilliant even though I was cropping myself. It was a long process. It took from about 10 o'clock till about 1. I think it was about 1 o'clock. Long process. 
no breaks in the, the dentist. I don't know how he does it. He just sat there and kept going and going and going. And there was a lot of work to be done. My teeth were filed down each side, which I actually got up to go to the loo and had a sneak look and it was, I thought, like, I looked frightening. So it's something that dawned on us there's no going back. But you know what? It's ridiculous hanging on to what I had because they weren't nice. And whenever I'm out and people new meet me, they do tend to look at your teeth. And I can only... I'd, the, the only advice I could give to myself was just to just go for it and do it. And I must admit, I'm not looking back in the slightest, I have to be honest. I know we're all for this real being, and, but it's so hard when your teeth are horrible because of the first thing people look at. And mine were buckled and discoloured at the side. And because they were at like a back and I didn't get braces when I was little, they were like dark in colour, like shadowed. And it just wasn't nice. So I'm glad I've done it and I'm waiting for my veneers will be made in about five, six weeks. That's why I'm going back to get these reshaped because I'll be living with these for a while. And as they are, they're a hundred times better than what I had. Um, I just can't imagine how blown away I'm going to be when the real veneers get put on. So I'm really, really happy. And another good thing about it is when I do my makeup tutorials, not only will I be able to smile at you more confidently, but I'll be able to wear lipstick and smile and feel good about it. Because usually I hate doing anything to my lips because they just hate my teeth before. But now I don't mind, so I find myself wearing more lipstick than I usually would. And it looks really nice. It's nice to have a normal mouth. That's all I can say, because I wasn't normal looking before. So I'm really happy about that. Um, there's loads of other things, you know, and I keep thinking, mate, try and think while the camera's on. Because I'll put it off 10 to 1, and then I'll have loads more stuff to tell you. Mm. Tonight a couple more videos and I hope you enjoy them. I think we're due a celebrity inspired. There's lots of requests for a Rihanna, Katy Perry. This is how this is how behind I am. Katy Perry done a song ages ago, I kissed a girl, and now look a week we come any away from it. So we're just getting on with that. So that's how behind I am a request because I just get so many I can't take them all in. I get that all get jotted down. So every single request you sent was I jot them down. But I'm thinking of doing some polls. I don't know where I'm gonna do them yet. But we'll do some sort of poll. I don't maybe Facebook or my blog, where we'll just where we'll just vote on which look you want, and then at the end of the month or whatever, at the end of the week, I think best at the end of the week. Now we'll get more videos out, see what's got the most votes, and then we'll do that look. And if there's something that it's not very popular but it really means a lot to you, just email us and I'll override it and we'll do it anyway. Because I really want to fulfil everyone's request, but it is so hard because there's so many. I mean, I think in the last month or two there's been about a thousand or more and obviously I kind of do all them looks in one go. Luckily a lot of you say the same ones um, so when I do one look it's it's covering a lot of people and everyone's happy because the request has been done but some of them are not they're different and it's it's just getting them all done but they'll all get jotted down and I'll not ignore any of them just give us a little time that's all. On a normal Time scale it will be hard never mind what I've been doing lately so I want to get as many done as possible so none of you feel left out because that's not what I intend to do um, eBay I'm not on eBay no more eBay don't have a good word to say about the place at all and so my accounts not there no more I finished and I'm gonna fully put myself into what I do here now and then when the makeup launches I'll be doing that as well and so no more eBay the brush sets, I do still have them if you want them. Just leave a comment and I'll try and get in touch with you as much as I can see them. Um, there's pink sets, there's gold sets, there's black sets and there's bronze sets. And I think there's actually a couple, the white and the black with the tool belt. Which is handy if you're starting college or you're at college and you haven't got a brush set because I know they're coming handy for me. And you can just stick them around your waist and off you go. They're handy for anything, even if you just want, you're doing your friend's makeup or you go around the, you put cards out and you want, you know, you're a freelance makeup artist. Brilliant. So they're all helpful and I've still got them if you want any. Just let us know, write a comment and I'll have a look. Um, if, depending where you are, let us know, UK or abroad. Same simple as UK, it's the same price, and if it's abroad, it's the same price, just so I know for shipping costs. So when I've got, I've got an idea of what I'm doing, because there's a lot, they'll, presumably there'll be a lot to keep up with, so let's just make it as easy as possible for us, please. I do appreciate it, I really do. Um, What else? I think I'm going to go and finish the chicken, 
let it cook, finish it and then I'm coming back up and I'll be doing some more tutorials later on. I'm going to surprise you with a look. I think we'll do a celebrity one, maybe two, because we haven't done any for a while and I know a lot of you have requested some celebrity ones, but I can't tell you the name because that will be giving the game away. So that's probably what we're going to do tonight I think. And then back to looks for brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, there's tons. And I'm going to try and categorise them as well so you can see them. And you don't have to look through all my videos because there's no worse than trying to check through them all. I'll categorise them for you so you can see, I don't know, all the green ones, all the blue and all the brown, etc. I think that's it. But yes, I am loving my new teeth. And I'm really happy that everyone's been so supportive about it because I was worried. I was worried in case everyone would be a bit nasty, but everyone's been absolutely brilliant. I think my problem is I'm just used to how school used to be, so I'm not used to having people like us or being nice. And I'll tell you what, it is blooming brilliant, so thank you very much, everybody. You would not believe how happy I am, I tell you. It makes a real big difference to how I used to feel, so thank you. And I'm not going to get all funny on you now and all emotional and whinge, but I'm going to show you my teeth which I'm really happy about. I can now smile confident. I smiled at the Queen with my new teeth and she wouldn't have even known because I doubt she'd have watched my videos but there you go. So I went out there in London with new teeth and I tell you what I felt a million dollars and these are not even the real ones these are just temporary. Nearly drank some beetroot juice though. Good job the girl I just spoke to about my teeth told us. Duh. Me silly. Right. Zoom zoom.